I think it's VTS, Virtual Virtual Toys. Anyway, it's Virtual, it is a Wasteland Rangers. Okay, this time this sci-fi figures is a female figures. They call Wasteland Rangers. I think this is inspired by some movies. But yeah, frankly, I don't know what is the movies, but it's a cool looking 1 6 scale female figures. And this female figures and uh, the height of this figure is a little bit short. So when you, uh, I cannot show it here, but if you want to ask the, what is the height about this figures, I think it's only 10 and a half inches high. So maybe a normal or regular Asian Asian female. Um, but the quality is not bad, and you can see they just like a license of figures. They have a rubber arms with uh, three weapons. One is like a slapper rifle. And the second arm and the third arm is a pistol. Two pistols. Yeah. And looking at the weapons, yeah, this one. It's very interesting one. I think this is part of partly human bones, human bones, and partly, you know, a dagger. So it's a very interesting weapon. And this is a you know old style pistol. And this is I think it's a scroll. And a uh, workable magazine, removable magazine, removable magazine. Okay, very detailed weapons and uh, every standard weapons, not bad. This, this rifle ammo can be removed and uh, it's a, a metal, it's made of metal, very very detailed. And, uh, if you are the fans of these few movies, I think you would like that. The costume looks really elegant, and uh, the design is you know, very cool looking. And the boot is plastic wood, but the gator is fabric. And uh, it's very good that they have their own stand come with the figures. You can see the okay, woo, a very, very fine, you know, small scale change, metal change, it's real metal change. But I think this is not, uh, you know, we can, we can have it from some hardware store for this small change, but uh, not easy to find. But yeah, I, I, I seen that before, yeah. If you are in the fashion industry, you, you know where to get them. This one is also, this is plastic. But the, the interesting thing is this arm, or this fist, the forearm and the whole fist is like a machine, like a robot. And the detail is good. It's not good, it's not bad. 
so I think original human arms have been injured during bat battles. She seems to be a very peaceful and experienced warrior. And uh, as excuse me, I have to touch it, her chest. Okay, is is rubber, so it's soft. Have elasticity. And there is two or three four belts. And uh, I think all of them is real fabric belt. Very very thin belt. Very very thin. Very thin. And uh, not plastic. I mean, not injection plastic. It seems like a you know, a real breather. Okay. So and there is a coco. Removable. Removable coco. And a shoulder arm. Uh, actually, this is. There is plenty of accessories, but this is so tiny and you know, so detailed and elegant. So maybe you cannot discover them when you have a, just an outlook. But the left robotic forearms and hands should capture your eyes. It's eye-catching. It's eye-catching spot of this product. And. And thanks for watching the Spino of Figure Talk, Figure Talk episode 80. And see you, bye.